Okay, here's a sample problem, yeah, and you might see something similar to this on your quiz, so um, yeah, or in your exam. So in this example, we've got three 20 ohm resistors that are connected in Y, and they draw 10 amps of current. Three equal value but unknown value of resistors are connected in delta to the th same three phase supply. The line current of the delta load is 20 amps. What is the resistance of the delta connected resistors? Okay, so it doesn't tell us the voltage of this. And what I like to do is to draw this out first. And let's go ahead and put our values on here. And then we can start seeing what we can figure out. So there's our circuit. We've got, we know they're all resistance. All right. So let's go ahead and put some values on here. The first thing we have is the 20 ohm resistors in Y. So all three of these are R is equal to 20 ohms. R is equal to 20 ohms. And what else it says about this Y circuit is there's 10 amps of current it's drawing. So if I put an amp meter right here, it should read 10 amps. 10 amps. 10 amps. And what else do they give us? The resistance is unknown of these resistors. That's what we got to find out. And the delta circuit draws 20 amps of line current. 20 amps. So that's our known. All right. So in order to determine that resistance there, well, we're going to need to know the current through that resistance and the voltage across that resistance. And we don't have a voltage. Why don't we go have a look at this Y connected load, see if we can figure out voltages. Well, if we look at this first resistor, let's, I'm going to focus on the one in A phase. We know it's got a resistance of 20 ohms and it's got 10 amps flowing through it. Could I determine the volt drop across there? Sure. And that would be your phase voltage we could figure out if we know the volt drop across that resistor. So on the Y side, I'm going to use that to determine my voltage. So V phase is going to be equal to the I of the phase times the resistance of the phase. So that's 10 times 200 ohm, or sorry, 20 ohms. That comes to about 200 volts. So the next rule in Y is that line voltage is going to be equal to V phase times root 3. So if I've got 200 volts and I times it by the square root of 3, that's going to work out to about 346.4 volts. So that is my line voltage. So we know that Y and delta both share the same line voltage, A to B. On, it doesn't matter which load, it's going to have the same V line. So 346.4 volts is our V line. Okay, let's go and have a look at the Y now. So the V line we know is the same value as V phase. And delta, there's only one voltage. So that's that 346.4 volts. What else we could figure out? is we could figure out our phase current. Right now the value given is the conductor coming in before it splits. That's our I-line. Because this is a balanced load, the value of resistors are equal. We know it's balanced, so we could use the formula to figure out I-phase. So if I take I-line and I divide that by root 3, 20 amps, divided by the square root of 3. That's going to give me about 11.547 amps. Okay. So I know that through the phase, I've got 11.547 amps. And I know that the phase voltage is the same as the line voltage. 346. 0.4 volts. So I can go ahead and determine the resistance now. R of the phase would be equal to my voltage of my phase divided by the current through each phase. 
So 346.4 volts divided by 11.547 amps should work out to be about 30 ohms. Hope that helps you out. See you on the next video.